Hey, hey, hey. What it do? What it do? Who we be? Yeah. Season yeah. three. Yeah. Like a fat bitch, we go run it, run it, run it, run it. Run it. Hey. Pull up the fellas, we highlight propellers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grab the mic, speak your mind. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ask a man you wanna know, we gon' tell you. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Chronicles Season three. Do hey. Hey. hey, pull up, pull up, pull up. <laughs> what you gon' do? Hey, pull up, pull up, pull up. We gon' at the fool. Hey, pull up, pull up. Pull up, what you gon' do? Hey, pull up. You ready? Cause we coming straight for you. Hey, Pull up to my bumper, baby. Beep, beep. Uh, what car? Still look a bumper, baby. <laughs> okay, 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 let go. Hey, man. Every can time we, I can think we about, trade that, that cell phone? Every time I think about trading it in, man, I get lost. I don't know what to trade it in for. <laughs> a Ford Tempo, bro. A Ford like Tempo. You. Or a, a Chrysler Sunday. Uh, <laughs> that's my memory of the real one, man. <laughs> man, you can trade it Hey, man. See, man. Hey, man. Shout out to the Chrysler Sunday. Shout out to my mama, Red. 1979 Chrysler Sunday. Sunday. Seven deep. Oh, uh, uh, no. Uh, listen, 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 listen. I Linda. need a three syllable car, man. Oh, oh, can't come oh, with no, no, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. all about rhythm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got you, <bro>. Chevy Cavalier. <laughs> <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> All right, we'd like to welcome everybody to the Pull Up Podcast. You know, welcome, we get together, welcome. we have these uh, epic conversations. We decided when we put mics in front of our faces, uh huh, we can help you through them changes. You heard them. You Boy. saw how smooth I was with that. Yeah, that shit was. Let me tell you why. Why? Because somebody got it printed on a Tumblr. A Tumblr. On a Tumblr. A Tumblr. <laughs> <laughs> We love your Tumblr. Hey, hey Casey, I mean, I like KB, if you tumbler. hold it up uh, uh, at a certain angle, yeah, I can like get it on camera. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show hey, what that Tumblr hey, say, man. Flash through those Tumblrs, baby. Yeah. 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 Get you y'all. Because yeah. I got mine. Hey, 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 like Yogi say, drink with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the motto. That's the motto. Yeah. That's all we ask you to do is drink with us. Drink with us. Yeah. Sip. Yeah. Hey, yo- hey, let's flip over to Yogi. Let's see Yogi's. Let's yeah, see Yogi's. Let's get on the Yogi's, man. Yeah, him yogis. right here. Yeah, him yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, remember I, I guess you remember. Oh, fumble! Oh, how we Ooh, casualty? How we love Yo, you put that thing onto the camera. Pause. Right <laughs> 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 no, your camera. No, 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 yours. Oh, my camera. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, hold there on. There we go. There we go. Do you remember? There we go. Yes, sir. We in there. Yes, sir. Great. Get you one, cause we got ours. Yeah. See that? Do you remember, girl? <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all got to pay for the. Y'all got to pay for the cup. But the nigga's free. <laughs> God Whoa. damn, man. Whoa. I oh, will man. be selling mine out the back of the car. $49.95. They got to leave here. Yeah. Yeah. They got to get the hell and out of here. And $10 for shipping. <laughs> <laughs> boy, I like it. Well, we hyped today, boy, yeah, man. 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 So, Yogi so. said it's tough to come with, with, with a Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> If I can wear that motherfucker, <laughs> and, and a link to his OnlyFans. God, bro, why, why you gonna play yourself like that? It's the truth. I'm, I, hey, I got an average size uh, penis. Anybody yeah, won't come see. on, bro. KB man, hit him with the buzzer. For real. I'm trying to, bro. I'm trying to, man. I, I'm a yo, little, I'm a little yo, strong. I left the beat. I left the beat on loop, and I ain't even drunk or high yet. So, oh shit, we have more to come then, Rondo. I left. <laughs> I left the beat on loop and I had the fader down and I was trying uh-huh. to buzz him yeah. and I had to take the beat off loop but we good now there you go, <laughs> there you go. I, 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 for the old and new shit <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and buzz me for me but leaving the beat on loop <laughs> Yogi under uh, OnlyFans use promo code Prince Yogi <laughs> 25% off Prince oh, Yogi King Capital Yogi. P Capital, Capital P. P. Capital P. Let's go ahead and start that roll call off to my right. It's your boy, VIP, the very intelligent player. What it do, world? <laughs> huh? Yes, sir. I'm loud. Yes, sir. Yes, we live. live tonight. It's your boy, TC, a.k.a. Tony C. Let me hold some. By the trap. Let me hold some brisk fruit punch <laughs> drink tonight. 
and the one and only TC Rest Motel. <laughs> but we don't leave the light on for you. <laughs> you gotta find that bitch yourself. Wow. You gotta find it yourself. Yes, sir. Oh, Check out man. our three locations. Are we done yet? <laughs> No, are really. we finished? What? No. Yogi's no, ready to. Yogi's okay. ready. Yeah. Are we finished? I just want to know because other people want to get in line, to, you know, to do the roll call. <laughs> so, so you're gonna be Yogi Karen tonight? Okay, uh, I got okay. you. Oh, right. uh, hey, I, which is fine. I'm uncool with that. Okay, there's usually a gap in the line, and okay. you at the other end of the gap with that pause. Hi, right, people yeah. out there in the world. It's your boy Yogi the Great. <laughs> <laughs> you on some Hollywood shit tonight? <laughs> I want to thank you guys for chiming in and checking us out here on the Pull Up Podcast Season 3, Episode 7. Hey, thank you guys for rocking with us. (laughs) Since you want to be a radio DJ, what the contest is? Oh, man. (laughs) Tell them about the contest. Oh, man. Man, You you, you rehearsed that all week? (laughs) No. Hell yeah, you did. (laughs) No, I got to outdo him tonight. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. Yeah. It sounded like you had the speed turn no, up I, on I, one I, of like WhatsApp. T- no, yeah. when I told you guys, when you guys pulled up, I said, I actually miss, and I wish uh, Rundo and uh, JT was here in the press. I mean, I miss you guys. I've been working almost every day. All I do is know is work. So to have, you know, whether it's comical conversations or some serious conversations with yeah. individuals that I can relate to, mm-hmm. you know, it, it really moves my spirit in a positive way. So I want to thank you guys for the night <laughs> show. Moves his spirit. April hey, fucking all, fools. Hey, hey TC and, and, and VIP. <laughs> What's up? Y'all got to pull y'all shades down to see if this dude for real. <laughs> I, I, I said April fools. <laughs> Y'all know I'm full of shit. I, I ain't mean none of that. He can go to hell. <laughs> oh man, I On was like, who is this? What show is this? Okay. Hey, scholarship. <laughs> TC, it ain't that serious. Now I'm not doing four years in hell. <laughs> hey, hey, we got some, uh, TC, you got somebody remote, man. Go ahead and uh, give give our remote person his uh, intro, please. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are here tonight on the Pull Up Podcast to welcome. 2.5 for the condo. Uh, Never think I played ball. They call him Rondo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy Rondo, aka Lobby. Lobby. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Stop, I, say my I don't know if y'all listened to the last <laughs> show, but uh-huh. y'all know. Did you listen to the last show? Of the course. One that I put out the audio version. Of course. You know, I totally missed my own intro. You damn sure did. The whole thing didn't even come back to me or nothing. I yeah. think went right you, on you were kind of ducked off that night. I don't know what it was. No, nah, lately he, he kind of forget for a minute. We forget yeah. and we get right on into it. Know. But you yeah. know what? You should start it off. Nah, he ready to go now. Hey. Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. You got to make up people of yeah. the world. Hold on, around hold, the on. World. hold on, hold on. Can I get a moment of silence? Go ahead, go ahead. Because that bullshit Yogi did. <laughs> I'm used to his pauses. <laughs> <laughs> Throw you off, didn't it? it threw me way off. First of all, Karen, yo. you ain't finna be me tonight. I'm gonna be me. I'm still me. <laughs> it's just I April first, bro. I ain't even gonna try to be you. Hey, <laughs> we might be born in the same. I mean, uh, it within, is, it, with, well, the, under the same astrological sign. Yeah, yes, sir. Scorpios. Yes, yeah, because we, we fought better. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? All I right. will not give him a buzzer for that. Oh shit. <laughs> Got collusion going on. That's my dog. Oh, oh. Heavy collusion. <laughs> With further, without further ado, we would like to welcome <laughs> KB. <laughs> <laughs> official hold Official on. Man, hold you on. can't even bring the man Ask out. that shit out Make sure you cut the audio out on this for you It's man. gotta stay in there like that No bro, bro. <laughs> I'll do it again though This is KB That's what it sounds oh, like It's your bro. Moaning, so, right. moaning It's your boy shit. KB K Bizzle Whistle Official. Official. Official shit. If y'all notice, man, it's we don't plan this type of shit. But if you look KB. you look right beside KB in between the mic and the mic holder, right in that little <laughs> hole, it's a sign to say the pull-up podcast. <laughs> no. We we don't do this on purpose. That yes, shit just happens. We just pull up and do the damn thing. <laughs> yes, it does. That's called yeah, yeah. marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Half the shit go, y'all be like, man. <laughs> I know if somebody sitting out there be like, man, they plan their show so well. We don't. We don't. We don't. <laughs> shit just happens. We be That's that's, what, that's, thing, why we, we yeah, that's why you're watching the behind the scenes on my personal page. Pull, I mean, live. 
So y'all can see what we go through. Mm-hmm. We go um, through some shit we're trying to get it together for we, y'all. We, we can clean it up, but we need some sponsors for us to clean that shit up. Yeah, so and if you want to, that's right. And if you want to send up, be a sponsor, please hit us up at the Pull Up Podcast twenty twenty one at gmail dot com. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, we accept donation in the form of, of money. And in the form of food. Yes. Those ads <laughs> ain't free, but they ain't expensive either. There you go. Uh, the point is, is that if you you have an idea for an ad you want to advertise on our show, send us a short script or tell us facts. what you want that script to say, and we will make sure that everything comes out nice facts, and clean facts. and clear for you. And if you yeah. try to send a yes, personal sir. check, please don't. We do not take personal checks. But we will take that cashier's check. We ain't a man. Absolutely. All Cash day. app. And money orders. <laughs> yeah. And Zell. And Zell. No coupons. You Zell or believe it. <laughs> None of that. None of that. Don't so try. what's been good with everybody, man? Since we last pulled up. Yeah. Oh, oh, I went to... Uh, <laughs> I took my ass to MegaCon today. MegaCon? Yeah. I'm oh, upset. Oh, shit. I, uh, I went to go uh, meet up with my, my stepbrother at, at MegaCon. You know, I, we, we didn't meet up, but it was a weird experience for me. And I, I'm a sci-fi fan. Right? Why was it weird? Like, I, okay. I, my my initial question that I asked you earlier. Uh huh. De- define your definition of weird. Being in that environment. Yes. I rock with a lot of the the different you know franchises that were there that were being represented there at MegaCon. But I think what took me back was that it was so many. It was to me. It, it was too broad. And define, I mean, not define, but just give us an idea, a description of what you mean by bro. I mean, there was like some Jigglypuff shit over here. There was some Star Wars stuff over here, some Star Trek stuff over here, some Sailor Moon stuff over here. And there was some fellas wearing some costume, like cosplay stuff that they should not have been wearing. What, 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 what I mean, well, if you got like the dude wearing the, the, the Sailor Moon ca- kind of daggone outfit with the, the knee high socks, a dude with a thick ass Rick Ross beard oh. walking around with a dress, and, and I'm not saying that that's that was, Uncle, that. Oh. that was Uncle Clifford from P right. Valley, all right, uh, yeah. probably was, yeah, but it was, it was a lot of that, and then the other part of the cosplay was. You know, you could pretty much turn any one of them characters into a sexy version of it, but maybe your body ain't sexy enough to try to pull it off. You understand what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like, now ain't nothing like seeing a geeky chick with her ass hanging. <laughs> in, in my mind, Said I went that. along right along with you Said that. because okay. we spoke about this. Yeah. But in my mind, I actually journeyed with you. Mm. And you said it was a broad experience, somewhat compact because of. Uh, the, the amount of people that the, the were amount of people that was there, uh-huh. Uh-huh. but in my mind, and based off your description, what you're telling me, that's perfect for you. That's perfect for me. Uh-huh. All I seen was different hues, or I mean, different hues of pink yeah. hearts. I got you. I got you. You know, I, I see the Japanese anime. I felt like, like you would have loved it there because yeah. there was a lot of anime presence. I right love there. it. I feel, Yogi there loves was cars. Anime. They had cars lined up front. All of them had like anime painting on them. That's the only thing I took pictures of. I don't I care nothing about the cars. I really see the people cosplay. Gotcha. gotcha. The cosplay. The, the cosplay red carpet was packed and lit, bro. I didn't even want to go in that section because it was just so packed. But I saw some costumes that was crazy. That I saw this chick in a Boba Fett costume. She had the sound with her helmet too. You know, just like you had like a, a, a Mandalorian talking in their helmet. This is the way. Yeah, she had her her shit sounded the right way. I was like, damn, you just how, your shit look good and it sound good. I'm saying that all night. By the way, this is out. the yeah, way. All out. There was some lame costumes, but there was some. There was some. I saw a chick get out of the car, boy. She had on a storm outfit, and I was like, "Damn!" Hey, KB. Yes, sir. L- look at you. Now look at me. Now look at yeah. us. We're not supposed to be. <laughs> All my niggas are rich as fuck. Sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. True, true. And that was another <laughs> thing that I noticed. That there was a lot of cats. I'm. I'm not saying a. Uh, 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 there were more cats like you mm-hmm. and like me. Good than, looking. Mm-hmm. You know Amazing. What I'm Get on. I'm, I'm the weird one out of our Dubs. crew, right? They, they'd be there with like their, their favorite character on a t-shirt with some matching sneakers, but they were chill, cool, and they were all by themselves. They weren't with no group of people. They were just like, you know. No, I, just, I, I, I got to have somebody because of uh, 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 social weed. anxiety. <laughs> gotcha. I, I felt like, I feel like I, that, that would have been man. the only drawback for you. How many people there 
that social anxiety probably would have kicked in. You would have to take me with one of those, uh, you know, how those. Did y'all kick- have masks on? No, you know how the uh, when you go to Walmart and then the parents <laughs> got the little oh, thing tied to ride them, ride yeah, their yeah, waist yeah, for yeah. the kids. Oh, that would have been me and you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it was uh, it was cool, but it was a little too much for me personally. Like. I go to specifically a Star Trek joint. I go to specifically a Star Wars joint. But MegaCon and Comic Con, that's a little too big for me. I don't know. Sh- that, com- that, 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 that Comic Con in San Diego, I got to go there one day, boy. I go with you. Bro, it's in yeah, San Diego. We, what's up? Well, that's three. All that's right, three cool. right now. That's hey. all we need. That's three. I, right I, I go. That, 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 oh, that com- that go. I'm going just to laugh. Man, I'm he, going. He, yeah, Listen. that's all he's going to do because he ain't got it. All he knows is Dragon Ball Z. That, that comic that Comic Con in San Diego is different. That's the biggest one, boy. All right, he's an OG. Y'all gonna dress up though? VHS. Oh, no. See, I don't know about all that. Oh, okay. oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. This oh, time. I know you will. I'll rock hey. a T-shirt. I'll rock a T-shirt. Hey, shout out to Yogi dressed up as old oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. There's <laughs> a possibility that at this next event that we attend to as a group with the mm-hmm. ladies, I might have on the Jordan 37s Naruto. Nice, the, the, amazing. The Rod right. Singon to yeah. all you shoe heads out there. But I'm also I got T- some T- TC other World, ones, you know, in my car. Ah. <laughs> TC World, <laughs> them niggas be having thirty thousand dollars worth of shoes and two outfits. <laughs> oh man, I ain't gonna lie, two I mean, diggy outfits, bro, bro. one and one Jabol. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> when <laughs> when I was younger, when I was <laughs> going out, boy, special. I bought a bro, <laughs> I bought a brand new outfit. I used to hit Jimmy Jazz. All the time you ask, and my dog will tell you. Mm-hmm. I go to Jimmy Jazz and go buy mm-hmm. me an outfit. Hold no, on, I'll on. buy the shoes later. Mm. You said a dog? I, no. Your dog in? Man, you say nothing about the. I, I mean, you my homie. Say a dog. I mm-hmm. said you can ask my homie, Vince. I VIP. asked you about them bones who, and you told me. Yeah, man, no fuck mind. them bones. <laughs> I ain't got no <laughs> damn dog. Who? <laughs> <laughs> who man, what did they say? Man, you and fuck that story. Man, let's go to break. <laughs> then we okay. Hold on, real quick. You the dog. Oh, oh, break, hold on, before we go what to break, though. Hey man, I had a blessed day today, man. My daughter is turning one. Okay, absolutely. And yes, we had a birthday party today, yes, man. Sir. And it was, it was, it was everything, man. To see her little face not do shit. Yeah. Hey, My, look. Yeah, I was wrong. Wrong. <laughs> when I was there, she was like, "This party is cool, but you thrown better, bro." <laughs> Facts. You know what? Your daughter gives me Rihanna vibes, man. She a sassy little something, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like she gives me not Beyonce vibes, Rihanna. Gotcha. Rihanna has a navy behind her. She's able to manipulate individuals to doing things. Speaking to of, yo, I gotta ask you a question, Yogi. Yes, sir. You watch Swarm, bro? I already. That's what we supposed to watch. Uh, don't say nothing about okay. it. Okay, I ain't gonna say that. Hey, bro, just him, watch what? it. Him, him I and her about it. to watch it together. <laughs> <laughs> no, that don't no, know, no. Don't that's the plan. We're gonna watch as a group. We'll go to the Airbnb at the end of the month. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. D- dog, it's, what? it's dope. What? I don't care what y'all what? say. It's, it's dope. I got another one too. What's that? The what? consultant. The consult. Okay, I'm down. Hey, and real quick before we go to break, man, um, Rondo, man, I see you got your daughters and your and your and your sons, man, out there having dance battles, man. How, what's going on up there, man? Hey, man, listen, man, you know, it's um, it was after the major rat competition, is you know, what I'm saying it was a um, it was a nice competition, man. Everybody did good, everybody did great, man. Shout out to, uh, to the team. What's the name of the team? Yeah, um, name um, Char- Charger, um, damn, um, golly, name of the team. Elite, elite charges, my man. Elite charges, yeah. okay. Elite charges, man. They they went in, they did their thing, man. Right. And plus, well, I'm telling you, boy, they I, I gotta give I gotta give it to them, man. They all the team, man. They showed, they did their thing. They came in there, did their thing. Right there in Winter Haven, man. Had a good time, Stay man. Up. Shouts out to Polk we'll, County. Yeah, we actually we was at Who Polk State that? College. Y'all know him? Mm-hmm. I don't know him. Hey, TC, put that comment because we need to come yeah. in on. We need to train oh. him real quick. Hey, no, so. I'm about yeah. to put his ass in time out. Yeah, we can put Chris Country ass. That, uh, you know who that is? No, but his name oh, is no. Craig Contrast. Talking about some y'all need to get your life together and see see, see you on the, the Fight Club, Club tonight. tonight. He's trying to promote his own shit and our shit. Oh, Anton Daniels. Man, uh, man listen, <laughs> uh, don't don't do that shit, bro. Shouts out to Yellow Boy, man. Bye, Fuck bye, whoever yeah, that was. Bye, <laughs> Cause you almost, boy, you almost got me there. I almost said some bullshit. I was feeling oh, no. good. Nah, he good. We ain't even gonna give him that kind of energy. <laughs> nah, we won't hey, give, we won't oh. give him that 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 bullshit. But that's yeah. okay. I'm just hey, you got but we will we will that. say something though. Hey, you got <laughs> something to promote? Pull up. <laughs> 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 Facts. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I'm glad you're tuning in, though. You had, you had to tune in and see For it. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get your life together. Unplug your keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, you say, tell your you water better. just got turned off. Oh, man. <laughs> T- tell her I said, what's up? You can't stop the rain. <laughs> hey, fellas, I ain't got nothing but one word for that hater. Pull up. Pull up. Yes, oh, wow. Do you need any electrical work done? Be it big or small, contact Oh Wow Electric on the World Wide Web at www.ohwowelectric.com where you can book your consultation and ask any questions you may have. Let us wow you today. In need of a haircut, for your lawn that is, a little pruning, trimming here or there, edging, or even general maintenance, contact Cosmotology Lawn and Maintenance today at 877-465-6367. Additional services available by request. Rondo, there you go. Yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in, man. This is another season tray of us, you know what I'm saying? This is the tree of the pull up podcast. Thanks for pulling up on us. And yes, we have a question from my boy JT. Tell him the deacon sent you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go in and we're going to get on these questions that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can tune in with us and let us know what's going on. And y'all, y'all can say what I, how y'all feel about it, too. So. Let's bring it in. Yes, bring sir. It in. Yes, sir. <laughs> Fellas, if you told your lady to give you her paycheck for the household bills and such, do you think she would give it up? Mm. Play it one more time. Play it one more time. One more time. Fellas, if you told your lady to give you her paycheck for the household bills and such, do you think she would give it up? Uh, okay. Did he okay. specify the whole check? Or he didn't say the whole. He said the check. He so, said the check. So I'm guess that's the whole check. I'm thinking that's the whole check. Y'all yeah, know yeah. what the hell he mean. Let's run around the room. Who want to take it first? Shit, I'll go. No, first. Everybody don't jump at one. Yeah, time. Yogi go first because he about to say some bullshit. But go ahead. Go ahead I, ain't, I ain't gonna say As no bullshit. Should. But you know, if if <laughs> the roles were reversed, you know, most men that are married, you know, often sacrifice. I mean, basically surrender their checks to. That, that woman says surrender. God yes. damn. Hey, that, that's because the word. all I hear is no, like that's not an overstatement. Either. And, 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 and you know, hand. gentlemen that are forty five and up, you know, are basically content with their lifestyles. Surrender all they want hand. is enough money to what buy They're their alcohol, it, buy cigarettes, whatever, whatever vice they got or whatever hobby they got. Correct. Yeah, because you're gonna know financially the household is taken care of. True. True. That's your. Your, your admission to being the provider of the household. Now, for a woman's sake, hell no. That shit ain't gonna happen at all, buddy. <laughs> because she, she got too much shit out, them, too many of the damn vices, you know, that she has to attend to. Uh, so what you said is that some woman be like, you know, taking from Peter to pay Paul just to get them a little something, something. I wouldn't say that. I, I say a woman is more wiser with her finances than men. So, in regards of her submitting her check, now she'll submit maybe a portion to cover the basis of her their bills, but that's about it. I shit, the rest of that money, shit, hell no. She finna go. You ain't gonna buy the shit that she won't. She gotta buy by herself or find somebody else to do so. Hmm. You know, hence the Fact. side dude. Okay, okay. Let's get one of them comments read. TC, what? oh god damn, I'm over here okay. listening to yoga. I didn't got caught up. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Lashawn Terry. Terry, what up, girl? Say yo yo. Uh, say to my husband, yes, I will. Oh, okay. She lying. Okay. She's doing that because she got guns. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Sean. Sean got a whole bunch of fucking guns. She, oh man, Gucci, what up, boy? Else. I'm just telling you. Man, she did her. say. Now she did say it's the opposite. Her husband managed money much better than than, than she does. Oh, okay. Yeah, you yeah, put throw that one up there. All right here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, her, her, oh, there's one before that. Yeah. She says it's, it's the, the opposite. opposite. My husband mm-hmm. managed money, money money better than me. Yeah, so let, let, let TC do it because he do it in the voice. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like this. Uh huh. <laughs> you gotta have a job if you want to be with me. <laughs> you gotta have that money. <laughs> they give up that money, Lashawn. You ain't wrong. Hmm. At least you give it up. Goddamn well, it. All right. What's your take on the TC? What's your take on the T? Uh, my whole thing is I ain't give up the whole goddamn check. No, man. We got we got to talk about that. 
we I, like Yogi said, I gotta have money for something. Goddamn, you ain't take my whole whole goddamn check. No, we ain't doing that. Can I take your whole goddamn check? Hell no, <laughs> we ain't doing that, man. Come on, bro. No, no offense to nobody who do Yo, that. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta so leave she, me some goddamn. So she give you a little bit. If she give you something to play with, would you do it? Yeah, I mean, we could talk about it. Because now, you know, checks are deposited, direct deposit. You know what I'm right. saying? If you still getting a paper check, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that. But that's more positive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, you man. fucking work at the labor pool. Anyway, it's not as somebody um, asking for cash only. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey. Check cash. You going to check cash, no ID required. Mr. Bizzle. You know, you know what I'm saying? Have you uh, answered the question? I have not. I have not. Because I see you back there pon- thinking. I'm and- thinking. I'm pondering. Did you hear that? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm pondering. Yeah. Yes, let, me, okay. let, me, let, me, let me get this stay at home, mom. Hey, did you just hear that last song I played? Got them. Got no have romance. A- Without finance, <laughs> <laughs> got to have a J. Do I need to play it again? I was like, I might bring it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't do it next break, you. next break, <laughs> bring it next back. Break. Yes, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and answer. Okay, uh, Bizzle. Under dire situations, I believe my wife would give up the check, but I don't think she's giving up every check. Nah. Y'all see this crazy shit right here? His check is my check. Oh, 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 oh hold oh, up, oh. swole up. But, but how many of us fall victim to the term, but is mine is yours? Uh, and, and shouldn't that that check something. no I, it, either party's check be equated to that conversation? <sighs> well, I, from the, the can I can I speak on it? Yeah, go, go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I I feel like this. If she can actually, my wife come up. My my wife can handle money better than me. I'm a spin shit. That's what I do. I, I try many times not to, but I, I do it anyway. But if she can show me a logical way. That me giving up my whole check, I'll do it. But she got to give me something to play with, so I can get what I need. You feel me? But if she if she got yeah. some popping, I will go with it. I, I'm gonna be real with it. I think she'll get it up. What if you I got? I think she'll get it up. What if, if I got a logical plan, to, so that's why I was basically saying yes. Okay, she would be, because I, I know I would. You know what I'm saying? For you and Rundo, what if you already got the? Necessary requirements in regards to the amenities, you know, already being pre- amenities being presented um, <laughs> by by your your yeah, partner, two out you know. So <laughs> there will, won't be no amenities. need for no additional funding, you know. So the total submission of that check will be granted to her or that grouping. Um, how 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 would you try to bypass that? You know, hey, that question sounds like a contract. Hey man, I, I gotta. I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna keep it real simple. I gotta. I gotta. Help, I got a weed problem. I gotta be. What if she? What if she take care of I gotta be able to fund it. No, no. What I'm saying. That's why I say amenities. What if your necessary required amenities are already taken care of? Sound like yeah. Right? That's what I'm saying. If she could come to the table with a logical plan, or if I come to the table with a logical plan that yeah. can work for us, I'm willing to try it out. If uh-huh. that shit running. I ain't gonna be the, the just the hater the black. All right, I don't want to do that no more. Nah, that <laughs> shit. <laughs> if it's working, man, let's go with it. But man, I, it, she got to show me that, and I, I'm sure vice versa. I can't come. I don't know. what I'm saying half stepping with a bullshit plan. Talking about give me your check that she worked all week for. Got you. you know, I know. That that's just me. I I just feel that um, depending depending on how long y'all been together, mm-hmm. um, I would say it's probably like I would say like between six months to a year. You would know either I'm better with money or you better than money. Mm-hmm. And, dep- and, 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 and depending on the circumstances, like, you know, if this person here is better than money, then let that person manage the money, whether it's the male or the female. Mm-hmm. You know, that's how I feel. You, should, you shouldn't be like, oh, this is my check. And you know, deep down inside, like, my check is going to be gone in three days versus she could stretch it or, you know what I'm saying? Like, like VIP say, like VIP says, she has a logical reason to do what she need to do with it okay baby do your thing you know you gotta I think it, it plays a big part of trust too you gotta trust the person you know what I'm saying you gotta trust the person with your check and vice versa she gotta trust you with her check like yeah. you know y'all gonna make something happen right cause you yeah. know everybody don't everybody, everybody don't like to be complacent too too much you know what I'm saying sometimes somebody wanna do something more and improve in, in more life cause you could be doing this you could be doing that and he's like you know what this part right here is no longer satisfying mm-hmm. so you know what I'm saying let's try and do something bigger and better you know, yeah. and then sometimes it, it takes that. It takes that. Hey, baby, get this check, or she give me this check. But it it all plays with trust, though. Because honestly, if she if she not willing to do that for you, you're not willing to do that for us. There's some kind of trust issue going on. Right. But let's now. be real. But I feel like, boy, asking somebody for their whole check that they work hard for is 
It's hard now. What? That's, that ain't something you just get up and go do. Cause they, 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 they have to be. Right, they, honestly, they have to be. They have to be reckless as hell with their money. Me? Yeah. yeah. Hey, they have, hey, they hey, have to be reckless. Me? Yeah. Lashawn. You that reckless? Yeah. Lashawn. But Lashawn I got a question. Get a allowance. Hold on. Look at that shit. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, Lashawn. Lashawn. Like, like my boy Pops told Riley, I'm allowing you to suck up my AC. Yeah. I'm allowing you to eat. <laughs> but but uh, VIP. Allowance. Yes, sir. Like like you just stated, you know, that's that's something very difficult. Allowance. To, you know, to, to come to those terms. Would you have that same energy, you know, say for instance, you, you're you somewhat willing to give your whole check to your mm -hmm. partner. But would you have that same energy when some when your your job done fucked up your goddamn check and showed your ass <laughs> out? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. Exactly. So why would you give somebody your whole check when you you're contesting the amount of hours that you lost on your check? Contesting. I mean, with that, she'll be understanding because you ain't got yeah. no control of that. She's you, know? a, you ain't got no control of your check coming up short. That's that's corporate. That's corporate. Um, you know, mistake they ain't yours or hers. Good. I've been made. Yeah, because they don't give a damn about you. She but she trying to help us out. Yeah, yeah, but it fit both of us. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I will it does. say yeah, this. I agree. I will say this. Good question, uh, Yogi. Good my question. uh, my wife is better with money than I am, wow. and what she's better at is just saving. Okay. I I'm I'm like a machine with the bills. You know what I'm saying? I just pay the mm -hmm. bills. Mm -hmm. I get paid on the first of the month, man. I just like, oh, I got paid at midnight and I just start paying all the bills. And As it's funny should. because a lot of people say, well, like, y'all should split those or you should just give the money to her and let her do it. I just feel better doing it. No, it's a, it's a comfort you thing. Said, for me. So you said you're a well or machine. Yeah. Wrong with that, KB. If nothing went wrong for it's you to have to give it up, I don't see giving it up. Exactly. It's called being so I just simply pay all the bills because that's just what I'm used to doing. Because in the beginning of our relationship, you know, saying, you know, when she came through, I had to think from the standpoint if I relied on her money. You know what I'm saying? And she decided that I'm about to shoot the deuces. Then I'm sh I'm short. I'm stuck. Right. So like, when it all like came truck. down to it, man, I was just already used to paying my own bill. She moved in with me. You muscle understand what I'm saying? So muscle memory. That's yes, a good system to have, though. Yeah, you, you're dependent on your own I'm doing. Dependent on my your and own my well thing being. Is her check is her check is what we vacation and play with. Yeah, we know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right on. God damn, but they done been, yeah, we been know. all over no the country. Man, <laughs> <laughs> they, That's why but, we go to Africa. Shout, shout out to the Benz. When I grow up, I want to be just like now. Baby, let's go to Bermuda. Mm. Bahama, okay, uh, okay. Oh, so I mama. think we had another question. It's in part two to that question, uh -oh. fellas. If anybody else had anything else to say on that. Tell Deacon uh, we like to hear his damn answer. How about that? And for Deacon, real, man, hopefully we we answer that for you, Deacon. For real. Hopefully. Next. How much you putting in the community? <laughs> in the community chest, like goddamn yeah. monopoly. Yeah. Goddamn. Yeah. How much you putting in the community chest? <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Part two of the question. So, if the woman is supposed to be submitted to the man, does she have the right to oppose, or should she just follow through and trust the leadership of her man? Yo, that's what I was talking about. Who started uh -huh. with that one? Who started with that? Go that, ahead, Rondo. 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 That, see, that, that's exactly what I was talking about. Trust uh, her, trusting uh, your leadership. Now, if she trusts your leadership, you know what I'm saying? She should have a problem, you know, giving up the money, whatever. But at the same time, it's like more like when you hear the check, it's, it's kind of sound aggressive. Like she gave me the whole check. But if she look at it the other way, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not more her giving the check, it's more her, you know what I'm saying, giving somewhat of an investment on us and what we need to do. You know, if she look at it in that standpoint, then she'll be like, hey, baby, do what you need to do. I know we're going to be all right. She have to trust you that we're going to be all right. We're going to make it. I and wish I knew I talked to my say women like that. going to make it. I got something to say about that. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Hey, I'm talking to the deacon straight up. You got to understand KB, this. Go ahead. Deacon. I don't trust my own damn leadership all the damn time. Oh. All right. So when it comes down to it, I have full faith in our leadership, mm -hmm. me and her. You understand what I'm saying? There's some yeah. places I'm weak at that she's super strong at, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and hike that ball. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it to her. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And yeah. there's some yeah. places uh, that you I know that. I'm strong at, and and I, I I got my hands open like pass me the damn ball. You understand? Yeah. So that's just the way I look at it, man. I I I I have more faith in what we can do together as leaders together, rather yeah. than her, you know, jumping in line. Uh -huh. and, you know, 
Facts. You know what no I'm saying? No romance without finance. Yeah, I would have finished that lot cleaner, but I had like a spotlight on me. <laughs> <laughs> and make it hot. Oh. Anybody else want to uh, say something on that? VIP was over there like, you know you done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bought the bed. She said, uh, LaShawn Terry said, me and my husband have discussions. Okay. As you like should. You, you should come to the yeah. round table and uh, decide what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, and yeah. if you get this time wrong, you might have a con- concussion. Goddamn right. C-T-E-T. 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 Not corporate thug either. Goddamn it. <laughs> oh, man. <Chill. laughs> every, every idea ain't a bad idea. Not everyone. Right, oh, right. Gosh. Nothing <laughs> from nothing leaves nothing. <laughs> That's the so, name of this episode. Would you guys give up y'all chick? Come again, someone. I mean, I mean, <laughs> we do, would y'all give y'all a check up? Like, come again, someone. <laughs> <laughs> you giving up that check? Come again, say what? Uh, me hey, what? look, look. Uh, why should I give up a check if I'm paying the bill? Excuse me. There you go. Ooh, excuse me, say what? Then I can't pay the bill. <laughs> oh, then I can't pay the goddamn bill. <laughs> hey, you got all this goddamn passion over. I ain't got no bills paid. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to give up my check. You giving I'm, up? You giving up the check, Yogi? Man, I was a paymaster in training. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I'm ready. Boy. Y'all know Yogi's oh, favorite song. Man. I'll okay. buy so, your soon, car. As soon as these motherfuckers done, Yogi soon my ass, better. soon as 25% of my check stop being I'll garnished. I'll I'm, I'm ready to pay somebody rent. Oh, man. Yogi will cook yeah, your that, dinner I, I, You know yeah, I can yeah, cook, that's, baby. That's the sound of baby face Yogi. Soon as he get home. <laughs> yeah, work. some yellow rice, some some smoke, <laughs> some, some, uh, some, some, some co- I mean, some smothered pork chops. Soon as he get home. Soon as I'm gonna get that home. motherfucker check hey, so she can tell me where I'm But that's easy. Yes. Easy. Ooh. Hey, 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 Lashawn, you don't know my household. Mm-hmm. Tony, know. know he give up that check. Yeah, goddamn. And them draws. Oh. Stop playing. Oh. You God giving up them lie. draws, dog? TC hey, say, all boss. right, now you got to fuck me first because nobody else can. No. <laughs> hey, no train here. Let's, let's shine t- hey, man, TC, yeah, we, got 35, <laughs> we got 35 comments, man. Where yeah, you been at? Man, I flashed on every last one of them. <laughs> hey, Yo, keep your clothes on. Yo, want to be high ass. Goddamn it. <laughs> I ain't high yet. Okay, man. Anything else for this? Uh, this, this shit did Hell no nah, We, we doing good on. shit I like this Yeah that's dope That's That made dope. me think I, Now that It's me, an interesting topic Yeah bro. It makes me think I'll buy you I don't like think much I just like you It's know, funny cause I, I, I'm shit. surprised You even had comments for this I'll pay your rent Yeah, had them. I, His I, questions I, bother me Oh they bother you Okay, okay. Uh, Every time he asks a question It bothers me yes. and, and, and I'm uh, Why I bother you Soon as he get home you? From work for Because real. you know That's my homeboy uh-huh. And 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 you know a lot. know a lot of stuff he has is personal stuff, and I just don't want him, you know, looking like a sample. someone else to give him s- some wrong advice. Mm. So you know, uh, I think it, it's, well, he don't seem like the type. To no, take no, 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 I don't think he he will listen to some you know some, just any bullshit. But yeah. you know, right? You know, no, we're, we're like brothers. Simple, you man. know, why why not take advice? We're from happy. Us? And hey, we're fe- hey, fellas, let me color. ask you a question. Go ahead, go ahead, Rondo. Let me ask you a question now. Tell me if I'm wrong. Everybody wrong. right now. <laughs> you ain't wrong. You I'm fucking wrong. with you. Go ahead, bro. You ain't wrong. Tell, tell me if I'm wrong now. Everybody right here, right now in the pull, pull up, right now in the podcast. Y'all can't tell me at one time y'all had y'all had made one bad investment. In a woman? No, 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 period. no, period. no, no yes. one bad investment, period. No, no, I, got, no, I, got, yeah. I got about five bad investments. Yeah, right, the 2019 right, right. Volkswagen Jetta. But, but, I, about, and but, but I, keep, a month. I keep trying. <laughs> but respectfully, he talking about a woman. Hell yeah. We My baby man. mama. No, not uh, no, not necessarily a woman. I'm talking, talking about like, but them hurt. I'm talking about like investment, like something you put your money in and you invested in it and it, hey, it was bad. My baby mama. You ain't a boss too. My baby mama boss. paying all that damn child yeah, support. Uh, I hate TC. Man, LaShawn why- giving you business, TC. Sorry about that, Rondo. Man, no, LaShawn, you good. LaShawn, the only reason she typing right now because Mr. Terry ain't home. They take that keyboard. <laughs> so she better enjoy her goddamn typing freedom. Right? <laughs> Motherfucker now. Hey, that's who you <laughs> Go ahead, Rondo. That's what you want to post. You want to post none of her comments? I will. That's shit. Until it got personal. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Terry gonna come and Pull that router right out the fucking wall. 
Night, night. Talking to you niggas on the internet and shit. Night, night. You need to be over there trying to pull you, please your man. <laughs> you gonna type night, night. <laughs> Give me that goddamn right arm. <laughs> pull this motherfucker out the wall. Who is these niggas? Better use that rotary phone. Better not be no dick pics in here. Who, who is these niggas? Hello? Who is y'all? God damn, bro. You got over here and say hello? Shit. <laughs> this Robert. Motherfucker on the phone. This is Mrs. God Terry Husband. <laughs> that nigga, nah, his name ain't Robert Terry. No, nah, I'm just saying, you know, I don't know. Shana really. LaShawn, she good people. She like she like going to uh, McDonald's at 12 at night and shit. <laughs> Get motherfucking chicken nugget meals with light ice and Sprite and shit. Uh, and so I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I go to break. I ain't lying, lying. lying goddamn. <laughs> Hey man, Shout out my doll LaShawn. and she got pistols too, y'all. Go We're fuck with her. LaShawn Terry, man. Uh, she got like eight pistols. Pull on out. Shout out to Eat Coots. <laughs> My name is Brianna and I am the CEO owner of Omni Consulting. So what I do with my business is family law, but I am not a lawyer because you don't need a lawyer to do the things that I assist with. So I assist people to get divorced, name changes, legal guardianship, step parent adoption, anything related to family laws, what I assist with. My bread and butter though comes from helping mainly men because they are the ones who are less educated about the legal system or they away from it. So I help them to establish time sharing and parental rights of their children. If they're on child support, I help them to lower it to a significantly low amount than what they probably already pay. It warms my heart to look on my timeline and see my clients with pictures of their kids. So my phone number is 407-520- 4614. I have three offices, one in Altamont, one in Jacksonville, and one in Ponte Vedra. Text me, call me, please be mindful. I'm also on Facebook. The business is Omni Consulting LLC. We're in it together because I really do know the law and I can educate you on the process to the point where you can make decisions about your case and I just guide you through the process. Don't play that good song. Hey TC, give me that, give me that sponsor again. The hit play, hit gospel play. Lord, help me, please help me save my sell my car. I'm sorry, <laughs> I got a little mixed up there. It's a rags the riches story of a YouTuber looking to sell his old car. <laughs> Can he get it done? <laughs> Not without the Lord's prayer. <laughs> Coming this fall, Lord, please help me sell my car. Oh, Back to you, K Bizzle. <laughs> We are now entering the VIP section. We have my boy TC checking IDs. Make sure you have a mind. <laughs> Get him out of here. He's not old enough. <laughs> Make sure you have your IDs out. Get his fucking <laughs> ass out of here. <laughs> you don't have your IDs out. You ain't getting in. Ain't no man. Get Simple your ass out of here. Grown, we grown over here. Grown old. people. Grown people. Grown people. Grown close friends call me Vince. Hey. We stole the show from a no one take. Uh. You in a few. Hey. 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 Okay. I ain't know that was coming on. For real, right? Out of this world. Hey. I'm sorry. The devil was pride up. I must repent. And you ain't getting out of. Hey. Hey, what it do? Uh-huh. 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 VIP uh-huh. section. Fade it out now. Nah. Uh, VIP <laughs> section. I'm sorry about that. That's all good. Appreciate that, man. Like a little plug. Appreciate the yoga. Hey, Rondo, I I didn't even do that. That was that was that was all yoga. That's all yoga, that man. Appreciate that, man. He still in my shine like that. Uh, pack up all my shit right now. <laughs> I'm going home. It wouldn't be Shit's wrong over. either. <laughs> yoga on bullshit. You got a yoga. <laughs> hey man, so we gonna talk about the ghetto. Is it a place or just a mindset? Mm. The reason being, because we always we starting to see a, a big trend of these rich kids, athletes, athletes, Ooh. all athletes. Them. Wanna be hood. Mm. Shout out John Moran. We trying to get away from this shit. And y'all wanna be, y'all wanna sit around here and think that, and glorify it. It's fun when you don't know what's going on, but as you get older, man, you wanna escape that shit. Mm-hmm. So that's why we want to know from you fellas, man. Is ghetto a place or a mindset? Yogi, let's start it off, man. Sean says a mindset. Just what what is the most popular music genre? 
in the world right now? Hip hop. And what is mainly glorified in the music hip hop? Ghetto life. So these new age, these Man, new, you're new quick. these new generational kids are. I mean, basically, they're influenced by hip hop and the terms or the influence of hip hop. Mm-hmm. So they want to live that lifestyle mm-hmm. without being into it. You know that that way. I want to say people like Drake. Mm-hmm. You ain't who you say you is, and now I don't mean to call people out, but you know I'm just gonna use it for example. We know Drake growing up as the kid that was on Degrassi. Mm-hmm. Um, That's facts, Lashawn. Uh, <clears throat> he made popular yeah. hip hop. He didn't make that ghetto hip hop until he got older, mm-hmm. and he well he had a machine behind him and had muscle behind him. Now all of a sudden he wants to be like this. Uh, Boss of this mafia, and you know, I don't, you know, that's just my analogy on it. So, I want to say hip hop and the way people emulate the idea of hip hop has a major influence on why these people think. Are you saying it's hip hop alone? No, not just hip hop alone. Okay, you know, there's a social media too. Okay, but again, there's no that's facts, LaShawn. Big facts. I, I think that's a major component into the influence because of an absent um, parental system within mm. their household. Okay. That, that play a part. All right. What I, they I say in the comments, TC? Hey, LaShawn say you don't have to grow up in the hood to be ghetto. Mm. That's mm. a fact. So yep. she's saying definitely the mindset. I, I'm going to jump in. I think it's a mindset. I think it's a mindset Absolutely. because we got most of the time when you see a successful black person you know you see that backstory right that backstory is oh they grew up like this and this that that and other you know their mindset was they they grew up in the hood they grew up in the ghetto but that mindset was not in the ghetto because you have to get out of that mindset before you can get out of the ghetto you understand what i'm saying correct 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 so i I just feel like it's definitely a mindset because if you want to be there that's where you're going to be at the same time like yogi was saying about hip-hop music glorifying a lot of that stuff there you know it never started out to glorify it was it started out to depict you know what i'm saying the life that a lot of people Mm -hmm. were living but it ain't that much different than us watching a gangster movie you know what i'm saying some 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 godfather shit you know what i'm saying and, you know different than watching something like that that is what entices people to go watch those kind right. of movies because that it's the, it's that shit that mobster Absolutely. shit we right. don't care about the dialogue between fat tony and such and such and such we mm-hmm. care about the you know you know they the, you know they, they talking, the, the yeah. outcome yeah the outcome yeah. we care about the outcome so when it all comes out to it, think about some of the popular television shows that's out that you guys were talking about before we even started, you know, you BMFs and your and your and your and your power and all the, all those things there. It's another glorification of the life, man. It's right. I think for a lot of people that watch those shows, they are entertained by it, and that's as far as they want to go as far as being in it. But then some people take it too fucking far. Right, right, mm. and that's where the problem lies yeah. a lot of the time. I think they're intrigued by personal pain. Yeah. Hey, look, man, I'm intrigued by Star Trek, but I ain't trying to go to space. I am. You, you ain't trying to go to the. I'm know. trying to go to Pluto. <laughs> right. You can go there if you want to. That. <laughs> Shit. But it, when it all comes down to it, man, you have to step back in reality. I don't care what you watch. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah, it, it is what it is. It's, it's like, you know, those things are escapes for a second. But for some people to look at that on television and say, damn, I'm glad I don't live like that. You know what I'm saying? And it, it kind of makes you look around at where you live and how you live and say, shit, man, I'm, you know, I should be a little bit more thankful because some people live like that. And some people don't have a choice. That's what a lot of people who are trying to be what they see don't really realize some people don't have a choice you have a choice and you you acting a fucking fool facts 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 yeah yeah you can't have some of it you right. gotta you, you, take you it know all. take it all all that have all that hood shit food. Well, I sure had a nigga had roach in my bathroom the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what? You were scared. What that LaShawn right? Terry said? I'm sorry. Who that? Oh, LaShawn. Uh, yeah. Says, 
Oh, Kemp, my bad. Yeah, I had Sean it Kemp. Frame. Casey Kemp. Oh, that's my sister. Definitely I, a mindset, learned behavior. Mm. I know sis said she, that. She just talked shit. I, I get what she said. A mindset slash learned behavior. You live in a ghetto, you can't get out of that mindset, but then you got other mm-hmm. people who ain't born in that in that that environment and, and now that's the, yeah and now they they they, they, they you know try to be yeah they right. try to be you know they 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 act in that mindset right. they they're becoming that so with what, their behavior so what do we say to the people that lead the ghetto because they you know what I'm saying came across a bag or worked hard for that bag and the people that they left behind are saying you changed and all that man I think you all you don't always get that you don't always get somebody yeah. trying to try to try to pull you right back into the daggone ghetto job ja Morant it's still a mindset yeah right why can't I elevate and then try to bring you up at the same time yeah cause you, you know what it is it's a perfect it's a process you know? yeah hey but Chad Chad check this out right gotta make it out People want you to help them out the way they want that. Want you to help them right. not the way you can, right? Right. Because the only way you got out was information, but they want you to die going empty your pockets to help them out. You feel what I'm saying? And because it was your idea, and not theirs. That's Bullshit. That's fact. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not just here to look. That's why I don't look. Yeah, so lecture before I he ain't never lying. There you go. And if you game. listen to that lecture, you but can walk yourself out of it. But it all comes down to it, man. I, I can't sleep on a dude that that fucking bawled his way out of the hood or, or fucking rapped his way out of the hood. I can't sleep on nobody like that. I mean, dude, you took your talents and you put that shit to the next level. Yeah, to the facts. Yeah. And don't get mad because we make this our way away for ourselves. Right. Us. We are like a drug. Look at us in this positive shit that we're we're doing, and we got going on, and try to adjust what you got going on to. Hold on, I agree with Kim. I agree with him. What 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 she say? He's supposed to consistently. uh, It's not called changing. It's called evolution. Evolution, baby. Evolving. That's what's up. Evol- Big facts. Oh, that's that woman word. Evolution D. I changed. And you know what's, what's crazy changed. about that though? We talking about people always talking about oh, you changed and all that stuff, man. I, I'm, I'm so what the hell change. you think the cats that were living in the slave quarters was saying to the daggone slave that was living in the big house? Same shit. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. You I'm ain't. Come out here where we at in the cast. Yeah. You ain't <laughs> shit. Well, Rock is. What Rocky said, Rocky it's Fold, if I can change, change. You can change. You can change. We all can change. We all can change. No, yeah, that's man, the man. one word, change. You yeah, change. Yeah, what yeah, Chad, no. Chad said, keep it real in the field. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Rondo, what you feel about the situation, big dog? Yes, sir. I feel, I, f- I feel that is a mindset. Um, I'm going to piggyback on what, via, um, what KB was saying. Right. It was um, one of them. Um, Shout out to Evolution. It, it's it's a, it's a mindset. Um, I had um, I had I had a um, homeboy. I had a home. I had a homegirl of mine. She grew up, and you know what I'm saying. And she, you know, she was in the hood and the ghetto, or whatever. And then one right. of my homeboys approached her. They were like, you know, what I'm saying, oh look at you, girl. I know where you from, girl. I know where you from. And then she looked at him dead in the eyes. She said, yeah, you know where I'm from. But the reason why I was there because I didn't have a choice. Mm-hmm. I'm from overtime. When she said when she said that when she said that he ain't had nothing to say because at the time she she was young you know what I'm saying she was staying with her parents of course she ain't had no choice right. so the reason why I say it's a mindset it's something that yes you may grow up in that environment but when you leave you have to still be that same person I've been around people that's one dimensional like you know what I'm saying they feel that oh this is all I know bro this is all I know this is all I know right. and I people like that and, and people like that know. yeah and people like that is all they want to know because you always have a choice you always have a choice when you when you because you know what I'm saying it's been times. It's some people that just can't some people they just can't you know i ain't gonna lie i can't survive in certain environments because they figure TC, man I, I'm, I'm not i'm not used to this i'm not oh, used to that God. i'm not used to this you know what i'm saying but they go in the good they're going to ghetto and they go in the hood they're like oh yeah this me here this me here but you know they're afraid to you know saying see something better they're afraid to do better to evolve like you know what I'm saying like tc was saying like you can't be afraid to do that so it's, a, it's all in the mindset because just because you stayed there raised there and you know the pros and the cons the do's and the don't that don't mean you got to take it everywhere you go especially right. in the future if you have to you know yes sir <clears throat> yes sir you're supposed to learn from your experiences and, mm-hmm. and, and yeah yeah you got exactly it. exactly and, on, I, huh? and I ain't getting my ass whooped no more <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you're doing that, what you got on that VIP I mean you 
Well, no, nah, you 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 end that up. Who who uh, who else? Uh, TC. Oh, I gave my two cents on it, man. You know, okay. ghetto is definitely you know a, a mindset because you can move out and still have that shit. You Yogi, know what I'm saying yeah, that shit can't follow you. Yogi, yeah. Oh, I went first. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I but it's always going to be a mindset. Yeah. Any any terrain that you're in, whether it's the ghetto, suburb, suburban America, wherever. It's always a mindset. Shout out to the suburbs, goddammit. Well, those like VIP. It. Hey man, I see I look at it like this. I feel like when we change our surroundings, we should be able to change the way we're doing certain things because we're not in the same spot. Right. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Thanks. We gotta be able to adapt to our surroundings. We humans, that's what we do. We I got a qu- I got a I got a question based on that, really, right? Right. I've been hearing people talking about chasing a bag, chasing that bag, chasing this bag, right? How how big of a bag is enough? A hundred thousand. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Just that ain't about, enough. Think about what I'm saying. How how big that's of a bag enough. is enough? That's enough to pay my debt. Debt. Um, <laughs> it depends on what you're trying to get accomplished. All I'm trying to right. say. Well, the point that I'm trying to make, TC, is this, right? I'm listening. I see cats. Come on, I'm chasing this bag. I'm chasing this bag. Well, you get the bag, right? And then you get you looking for right, a bigger bag. The bag enough. never stops. When do you start living? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? If you keep chasing it, right? If right, you keep right, chasing right, it, right, yeah, absolutely. You can't take it with you. When do you right. live? Right. Those are those who have a financial goal. I mean, I mean, but, uh, yeah, I but mean what it? Uh, not a real estate no, financial goal. Let me rephrase that. But life that. is passing you by. Wife. Yeah, life is passing yes, you by. Right. But yes. you realize that money is not going to make you happy. What about when Can't. you settle down and just be calm with it and just be like, yo, mm-hmm. this is yeah. chill time, right? When, when do you stop chasing the bag? When do you stop chasing Never. the bag? Never. You do. I guess that what motivates people to keep going. That's the bullshit. Yeah. That bullshit. But it's done. perpetual, though. It becomes perpetual. You keep running, like running, the, running that rap it's like race. Like the, the carrot in front with the uh, exactly, exactly. <laughs> carrot with donkey. And stick. Yeah, I, and stick, I realized, yeah. and I was thinking about this. You know, usually I don't bring up topics and stuff, but uh, right. I was thinking about this. There's some certain people that grow up never chasing the bag. Yeah, what mm-hmm. they're chasing is like personal fulfillment. You feel me? What right. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And give, yeah. a, give an example of that. I mean, okay. Um, there's people unlike you and I that don't look like you and I. You okay. know what I'm saying? And what they dream of being when they're kids or teenagers or whatever. Okay. They end up becoming being. You know what I'm saying? And then they, it, gotcha. everything is cool. You know what I'm saying? I they, got you. They have, they have the space to dream at that young age. Right. I'm going to sit in my garage and build a computer. That right. becomes the first Apple computer. That becomes Apple. You right. understand Privilege. what I'm saying? Right. So right. you're right. talking about... Privileged individual, exactly. Privileged individual. We don't. Individuals. We, we don't dream the same dream. We no. don't dream the same way. We dream of not being broke. Right. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Taking care of some family. Yeah. Absolutely. Taking care of our family. Chasing the bag chasing perpetually. The bag. Not using our mind. Exactly. Using what we yeah. have. And mind that's what big. I'm trying to say. Is like, when do we stop? When do we get to a place where we can just dream a, a, a dream and become that? Because I can tell you one thing: when you do what you love. You don't worry about the money as right. long as you're comfortable. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Right. When you do what you love, you don't worry about the money as long as you're comfortable. And all of a sudden, the money starts coming and keep coming and keep coming bigger because you. It's like oh, it's like damn, I'm sitting back and I'm I'm just I'm really just chilling doing right. what I love, and I'm getting paid for this shit. Right. You can't beat that. You already live in life. You mm-hmm. live in life as soon as you find that for yourself. You feel me? Yeah. To me. To me. You ain't. Yes. Hey, th- thank you, Chad. God damn it, Chad. Where the fuck you been, bro? <laughs> God damn. I'm sorry. I'm For not that here, you They say you ain't chasing the bag. The bag is coming to you. You, yeah, you, you doing what you do out of love. Out that of love. Bag is so you're not you. get, you're not feeling like oh I got to go to work today. You gotta That's when you're chasing it. Yeah. You, you so feel, I went from prostituting to pimping. <laughs> <laughs> you feel you feel like money making Mitch I'm paid in full. Yeah. I love this shit. I love you know this shit. I feel like motherfucking bird. <laughs> <Magical money. laughs> well, I know we're gonna um I'm gonna close this off like this. I know we uh got the the uh I see some people we, comment too. Hey, don't yeah, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Up, get though. the comments. Get the comments for our for our The last one was it ain't never enough, which is it's easy to say when you're a stay at home uh, wife <laughs> <laughs> and getting your husband check. Right. What, what if you're a stay Our at check. home, stay at home stud? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Shout out to them studs. Got to tell you, got to man. Better have you a good piece of plastic. <laughs> and some basketball shorts. <laughs> Shout out to them and one shorts. Got to tell you. you know what the comments, bro? And, and two sports. What was bro? the other one? You got two more comments. Out, I was just talking about money don't make you happy, but it shouldn't have put a smile. Once again, <laughs> it's easy for you. <laughs> put a smile on her lace front. What's that? Right. Keisha, uh, Keisha Kemp say, what? Uh, she just went to an event and Jeff Hoffman spoke. He said, don't chase money. Chase excellence. Money follows excellence. Only the privileged will have those yeah. type of uh uh, and <laughs> no, I get, I get that, but sometimes you have to put yourself in that mindset. You have to, yeah. And it's difficult when you're struggling. I, when I, I, you I know. know, I mean, your you're, mindset, you're, your mindset has to trans- is, is, transcend trans- your struggle. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, absolutely. Yes. It's so, like some of the stuff that you're into. This motherfucker's making money off. Oh, that. Don't, I saw it today, bro. Oh, I'm, at I'm, Megacon. I'm, I'm about to pick up them uh, John C. <laughs> Maxwell books and start reading again. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying no, this cat's making money off so the stuff they love. Again. Yeah. All right, I'm so gonna read out loud and slow. <laughs> <laughs> I know we got convos <laughs> with Rondo coming right after this, but I'm gonna close it off saying, you know what I'm saying? We gonna cut the lights on. Somebody, TC your... gonna start running everybody out this bitch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get up <laughs> out of here. I know them velvet ropes. Uh huh. And we know we talked a lot about money and people being want money and can't take money with you. I heard them. Heard a motherfucker say, when I die, I want to be buried with all my money. I mean, give me my money. Mm. His wife said, all right, I'm going to write you a check. God, <laughs> ah. You never saw a funeral. You never seen a Brinks truck following a funeral <laughs> procession. A, God damn it. a book of jo- jokes for dummies. <laughs> Interested in advertising on the Pull Up Podcast? Have a great business you want to promote? We'd love to hear from you. Submit all information at the Pull Up Podcast 2021 at gmail.com. That's the Pull Up Podcast 2021 at gmail.com. Pull up.